welcome to rmc spiritual message for christian character formation let us begin this small reflection with a short prayer oh my god strengthen my faith may i hope with greater certainty may i love with greater ardor may i have greater sorrow may i always respect my elders help my juniors be faithful to my friends and pardon my enemies in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friend god created us and we are his children anyone who lives according to the will of god is considered as righteous in the bible god has given all what we call eternal principles it does not change they are immutable they are verbalized in the 10 commandments anyone who follows it is called righteous and his prayer is beautiful and powerful in james 5:16 we find the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective so my dear friend we truly believe that our prayers are the most powerful thing on earth one of the greatest miracles is a prayer that has been answered now it is written do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to god philippines 4:16 but in proverbs 15:29 we find the lord is far from the wicked but he hears the prayer of the righteous now i know that when our prayers are not answered the way we would like it can naturally disappoint us we are sad and often depressed so what shall we do in such situations could be another question the answer is we find in thessalonians 5 16 to 18 be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in jesus christ therefore my dear friend never feel that god does not hear your prayers because sometimes a prayer is not answered immediately or because it is not answered the way you would like to for your heavenly father always knows what is best for you and in deuteronomy 31:6 we have the guarantee where it says he will not leave you nor forsake you so my dear friend remember always give thanks to the lord call on his name for he will always hear the prayers of those who love and adore him we find this in book of chronic first book of chronicles 16:8 my closing prayer for you today is what is in second corinthians 13:14 the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all now and forever amen that's all for you today please listen two talks every day one in the morning and another in the evening thanks for listening this talk may god reward you for that today itself wish you all good things in life in the mission of the church bishop Franco Molecchio